Okay, here is a very basic uh, leprechaun trap made out of mostly recycled materials. And this was really thrown together very quickly. And I'll tell you things I did wrong or things that I would definitely, um, what I learned from this one and what changes I would make um, for when you'd have kids do it in the classroom. But basically what you've got is, the whole focus too is really mostly on the simple machines, not really on the decorations. But what we have is we do have a lever. So leprechaun would go up and go back down. You have the inclined plane, which is your ladder. And then you have your pulley system. And the pulley system works when the leprechaun picks up the coin. That is, uh, I get in the, it's hard for me to get this out of here. Get the coin out and then the trap falls down. Um, what I can tell you right now when I just did this is that you could tell it was hard for me to get in there to pull out that coin. Um, the reason I made this small is because so many kid projects end up to being so huge. I really wanted to try to have something that was smaller as a sample, but I'll tell you when it's really small, especially the younger the kids are, it gets to be more difficult to work in that smaller itty bitty space. So it would be better if it was bigger. Um, supplies used for this project, almost everything's recycled, um, except for we do have craft sticks and um, toothpicks and I did buy coins and some craft paper uh, for this one but we have straws there but almost I mean this is just a box this is a wheat thin box which is at the bottom um, key thing when it comes to doing this project when you want to have when you want to be able to do it in one classroom session is I would make it so that they are focused first on how are they going to trap their leprechaun. It's either gonna fall into something or they're going to have something land on top of it or however they wanna trap it, but they need to figure out how to do it. But before they assemble all the different parts, cover them. So uh, if you cover, like you'll see down here, I'm gonna pick you up now. There's a base down here, which is a wheat thin box. Before I attached this other box to it, I covered both of them with construction paper, just covered them up. Just makes it look nicer, um, and it makes it so that it already basically looks pretty decorated before you even really decorate it. Um, and if you don't care about the decorations, don't worry about it, but I remember when we did this last year, um, the kids, we had them build their, their, uh, their leprechaun traps and then decorate them, and it's really hard to decorate them once they've already been put together. It's harder to get things covered up and paint takes a long time to dry. It's just, I'll just tell you, it's just simpler and easier. Um, other things is this year we've been really doing more with like the flange technique, which makes things more stable. Love that. I love um, that we do have weight in like pennies that were taped inside of here to give it weight. Um, and then on the, and I did have a penny on the back of this coin that um, helps to hold the sauce cup up. And I'll show you on the back, I did actually do a, um, a paper clip so that it would actually hold the um, curling ribbon a little bit out of the way so that the sauce cup would go up and down easier. Anyways, hope these tips are a little bit helpful. Have fun and hopefully they come out with all sorts of different projects. Um, I love the idea of also doing the writing component that they could do back in the classroom, get, telling a story about their leprechaun and what their leprechaun did and how their trap worked. Anyways, have fun. Bye.